Hello, Ms. Justine here with the Lindenhurst Memorial Library. Welcome to my Take and Make Bow Tie Butterflies. Before we begin our video tutorial on how to make our bow tie butterfly craft, I would like to read your story, and it's a classic. It is called The Very Hungry Caterpillar, and it's written and illustrated by Eric Carl, and it's published by Philomen Book. And I want to thank the publisher for allowing me to read your, uh, their story, excuse me, uh, during our take and make craft tutorial. <clears throat> okay, let's begin. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. You guys see the egg? It's right there. <laughs> on Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't a hungry caterpillar anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. The end. Wasn't that a great story? Right? And spring is coming, and pretty soon we're going to see butterflies all over Lindenhurst. I cannot wait to see them. I'm so excited. Thank you guys for listening to my story. So uh, if you guys want to come along to our next segment, I'm going to show you how to make bow tie butterflies. See you there. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, for this craft tutorial, um, bow tie butterflies, you should have in your kit uh, two things. You're going to have a half a sheet of white paper, some uh, bow tie pasta, uh, mini bow tie pasta, I should say, and what you're going to need from home is you're going to need either um, something to color with, um, either crayons, markers, paint. Um, I don't really think color pencils would work, but you're more than welcome to try it. And you're going to need glue. Um, I suggest using uh, Elmer's glue instead of a glue stick or glue dots um, because the pasta is going to be pretty heavy to glue on the piece of paper. So without further ado, I'm just going to show you. I'm going to move my mouse out of the way. I'm gonna color my pasta. Oh, I don't really like this color. I'm gonna pick a different color. I'm gonna pick a red. My brown wasn't coming out very well. So you're probably gonna have to try a bunch of different colors to see what kind of pops out on your pasta, and that's okay. That's, I'm gonna include a, a couple of handfuls of pasta in each bag so you guys will have enough um, to choose which ones you want on your painting. Okay, when you got it colored the way you want it, I'm going to show you, see, colored it nice. Then I already um, actually glued some already onto a paper because I figured you guys didn't want to see <laughs> me gluing and drying. So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a little bit of glue on my paper. I really shouldn't say a little, so a hefty amount of glue on my paper because like I said, the pasta is heavy. I'm going to put it right where I want my butterfly to be. I'm going to stick it on, okay, and then I'm going to let it dry for a little bit. 
but for purposes of this video, I'm going to just show you right now, but I would advise to let your pasta dry, but then I'm just going to make two little lines above it for the antennas. Okay, and then I'm going to make two little circles on top of the line for the antenna. And as you can see, I've already done that with my other pasta that's already glued on. And while you're waiting for your pasta to glue, you can always draw a little scene. I drew some grass and a sun, but you're more than welcome to add a tree, some flowers, uh, maybe some birds for your butterflies. Um, the sky's the limit. So that's really it. It's a very simplistic craft. Again, I will um, tell you guys again real quickly. You color in your pasta however you want it with either crayons, paints, or markers. Then you glue down your butterfly eyes or your pasta, wherever you want. You're going to draw your lines for your antennas. And then if you like, you can make a pretty scene for your pasta uh, bow tie uh, butterflies. Um, and that's it. Thank you guys for joining me. I really had a great time. See you soon.